Hello guys, welcome back to Isawan Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Isawan Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the bending stresses for a beam. So we have to solve one numerical problem and the problem states that a simply supported beam 200 mm wide by 400 mm high and 8 m long is subjected to a concentrated load of 6 kN at a point 2 m from one of the supports. So this is a simply supported beam with a total length of 8 m and there is a load of 6 kN acting at a distance of 2 m from one of the support while the other distance is 6 m. So and determine the maximum fiber stress and the stress in a fiber located 100 mm from top of the beam at mid span. So there are two parts of the beam. First of all we have to find out the maximum fiber stress and then we have to find out the stress in a fiber at 100 mm from top of the beam at mid span. So there are two parts of the beam. First of all we will find the maximum fiber stress and then we will come to the next part of the beam. And this is the cross section of the beam where the width of the beam is 200 mm and the height of the beam or the thickness of the beam is 400 mm. So to start with the maximum bending or fiber stresses. So the first part is to find out the maximum fiber stress or we can see the maximum bending stress in a fiber or bending stress sometimes also called as the flexural stresses. So the maximum fiber stress we can find out by this formula that if B maximum is equal to the M C over I. Now M is the maximum moment in this beam because it is the maximum fiber stresses. So this M correspond to the maximum bending moment and this is unknown to us. C is the distance from the neutral axis. If this is the neutral axis for the beam. So it is the distance from the neutral axis up to the extreme fiber of the beam. So this distance is known as C which means that it is equal to the half of the thickness of the beam. And C is equal to the H by 2. And in this case we have 400 millimeter thickness. So it will be 0.4 in meter divided by 2. So we got here 0.2 meter. This is the value of the C. I is the moment of inertia for this beam which is a rectangular beam. So we will use the moment of inertia for the rectangular beam is I is equal to the BH cube by 12. So I is, will be equal to the B is 200 mm or we can say 0.2 cubic meter, 0.2 meter multiply with the height which is 0.4 meter cube because H is cube here dividing by 12. So we got the moment of inertia for this beam equal to point. 0, 0, 001 meter power the 4. So this is the moment of inertia for this beam. Now we have only one unknown that is moment M. To find out this moment we have to find out the support reactions and to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram then we will know our maximum moment in the beam. It is the maximum moment because it is the maximum fiber stresses in the beam. So fiber maximum stresses are those where there is a maximum moment. So to find out this maximum moment, we have to find out first of all the support reaction. Let's suppose this is support A and this is B and this is RA and this is RB. And we consider the summation of moment at point B, let's suppose equal to 0. And clockwise moment is taken as positive and anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. Now the RA will create the moment about point B in a clockwise direction. In a clockwise direction about point B. So it will be taken as positive. So it will be Ra multiplied with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from A up to B which is 8 meter. Now this load 6 kN also creates a moment about point B in the anti-clockwise direction. So it will be negative because anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So minus 6 multiplied with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this point up to B which is 6 meter. So summation of all the moment about point B equal to 0. Now 8RA comes out to be 36. Simply RA comes out to be if we divide 36 by 8 we got RA equal to 4.5 kN. So this is the reaction here 4.5 kN. Now to find out the RB simple we can use this equilibrium equation its summation of vertical forces equal to 0. And the upward forces are taken as positive while the downward forces are taken as negative. 
Now the output forces are RA and RB. So RA plus RB while the downward force is 6 kN so it will be taken as negative. So summation of all the forces is equal to 0. Now we know that RA is 4.5 so we will put this value here so it will be RB comes out to be 6 minus RA or we can say RB is equal to 6 minus 4.5 which means that RB comes out to be 1.5 kN. So this is the RB reaction here 1.5 kN. So first of all we find out the support reactions. Now we will draw the shear force in bending moment for this beam. So in order to draw the shear force in bending moment we will draw the reference lines. So let's consider these are the reference lines and this is the reference for the shear force diagram and let's suppose this is the reference for the bending moment diagram. So this is for the shear force diagram and the unit will be kilonewton and while the bending moment will be in the unit of kilonewton meter. Now to draw the shear force diagram we will take the support reactions RA is acting upward so it is 0 0 reference RA 4.5 kilonewton is acting in the upward direction so we will make this from 0 up to 4.5 here kilonewton. So this is upward reaction of 4.5 kN. Now there is no load on the beam so it will be a straight line. And then there is again load of 6 kN acting in the downward direction. So 4.5 minus 6 we got 1.5 with a negative sign. If this is 4.5, this was 4.5. Now minus 6 is acting in the downward direction. So we got here minus 1.5. So minus 1.5 means that it lies below the reference line. So I will bring this here like in this way minus 1.5. Now there is no load on the beam so it will be a straight line. And then there is a reaction of 1.5 acting in the upper direction. So 1.5 it will close the shear box. So this is a positive shear box and this is a negative shear box. Now with the help of this shear box we will find out the bending moment value. So this is a rectangle we can see here. The height is 4.5 and the base is this length is 2 meter. So we will find the area of this rectangle and the area of this rectangle we can find by this method that A1 is equal to base into height and base is 2 meter multiplying with the height which is 4.5. So we got the bending moment of 9 kilonewton meter. So the area of this gives us the 9 kilonewton meter bending moment here at this point. So now again we will find the area of this shear box. It is acting in the downward direction. So it is a negative shear box. So A2 will be B into H. This is the distance. This distance is 6 meter. We know this 6 meter. Multiplying it with the height. Height is minus 1.5. So we got minus 9 kilonewton meter. So we have again bending moment of minus 9. Now if we add this plus 9 with the minus 9 we got 0 at this point. So we have 0 bending moment here at these two points. So now we find out the maximum bending moment which is 9 kN meter. So the first part is almost solved because the only unknown was M. So we determine the maximum moment here is 9 kN meter. So now we will put the value of M here in this equation. So we will get the maximum fiber stresses equal to the m c over i m is 9 multiplying with the c c is here 0 0.2 dividing it by i which is 0 0.001 so we got here from this value we got the maximum bending stress in a beam equal to 1800 kilonewton per square meter or we can say 1.8 megapascal. So these are the maximum stresses in this beam. Now we will find out the stresses in a fiber located at 100 millimeter from top of the beam at mid span. So there are two conditions. The first one states that 100 millimeter from top of the beam it means from if we if we look to this cross section it is 400 mm the total depth is 400 mm and from the top of the beam it should be 100 mm. So we are interested to find out the stresses at this point. 
Now we are going to solve the second part of the beam where we have to find out the stresses at mid span of the beam. So it will be MY divided by I. Now I wrote it here Y because C, I wrote it here C before because it was the maximum fiber stresses. If I draw the cross section of the beam here, if this is cross section of the beam and this is the neutral axis of the beam. So the distance from the neutral axis up to the extreme fiber, this distance is known as C. While the distance to any point on beam, this distance will be known as the Y. So in this case, we have to find out the bending stresses at a distance of Y from the neutral axis. That's why I mention it Y here. So it should be kept in mind that it is located 100 millimeter from top of the beam. It means that this distance is 100 millimeter and the half of the beam, we know this half of the beam is 0.2 meter or 200 mm. So this distance, the y distance will come out to be 100 mm. This y here in this case is 100 mm. Because the total half is 200 mm. And we know that it is given to us that we have to find out the stresses from top of the 100 mm. So this is 100 mm. And the remaining distance is also 100 mm. So y in this case is equal to the 100 mm or we can say 0.1 millimeter, 0.1 meter. So this is the y. Now m, we have to find out the m in this case. And i is again the moment of inertia which is b h cube by 12. And again by putting the value of b 200 mm, 0.2 into 0.4, h is 0.4 here, cube divided by 12 we got the same value of I which is 0 0.001 meter power 4. Now the moment, the only unknown to us is the moment. We have to find out the moment at the mid span of the beam because it is stated that the stress in a fiber located 100 millimeter from top of the beam. So Y, we found out Y which is 0.1 meter in at mid span of the beam. So at mid span of the beam means this is 8 meter distance so we have to find out at mid span of the beam, it means 4 meter from this end. 4 meter. So if you draw this line here, it will become 4 meter from this point. And this distance, total distance is 6 meter. This total distance is 6 meter, while this distance is 4 meter. So we have to find out the stresses at mid span of the beam. The mid span is 4 meter here and this distance from this point up to this 9 kilonewton meter bending moment is 6 meter. So to find out this M, we can use the this triangle law. This, this is a triangle we can see by similarity of triangle. This is the bigger triangle. So it is 9 kilonewton dividing by the base which is 6 meter here. The height is 9 and the base is 6 meter is equal to the small triangle now. So it will be small triangle is moment M is unknown at the mid span of the beam. And dividing by the distance which is 4 meter because it is stated it find the stresses at mid span which is 4 meter from this end. So it is 4 meter here. So M comes out to be if we multiply and divide m comes out to be 9 divided by 6 into 4 so we got here 6 kilonewton meter so this is the m value now we will put the m value here m is 6 kilonewton meter so we will put the value in this equation now so if b comes out to be m into y into i m is 6 multiplying with y y is 0.1 and i is 0 0.001 so we got here 600 kilonewton per square meter or we can say 0 0.6 megapascal is the stresses at the mid span of the beam located at a distance of 100 millimeter from top of the beam hope you guys understand how to find out the stresses at any point in the beam and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video